Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. It's so funny because now we live so close to downtown that it's this right here. Ten minutes away from the place. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, all right. The gate has opened. They're letting people in. Sarah's gonna run straight to the bathroom, and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna charge the gates and go straight as close to the stage as possible. Oh, we've got Christmas music playing. Look at this awesome set with the Christmas tree and the pianos and the fireplace and the stocking. Hey, I forgot we had a pre-show show by Ivory Lane. You may not know me, but I'd love to know you a little better. This is a song called Committed. My name is Ivory Lane. Do a little hit music for this one. Just a little action. It just felt like this is a time of year uh, where you can kind of like slow down maybe for a second and take a take a breath and if you, if you have those moments where you can get in a room like this and, and, and feel a little love and, and a little joy and a little compassion for your neighbor uh, that, that that's a beautiful thing so I wanted to uh, I wanted to do that and I already feel like y'all are, are a pretty special group so thank you for coming out for the first time. Just the idea of embracing that excitement and trying to go with it. It's called a so close. And we could pull this off and push it, but you and me have always been so close, so close to taking off, so close to going nowhere. Oh, dancing to someone else's. 
you're getting good at that, all right? I, I rehearsed for this like I did. <laughs> but the whole, like, the whole thing as I was getting prepared, it's like, when you rehearse, you rehearse with your band, right? And, and, and so like that's why you do it. You get locked in, you, you do your thing. But you guys are kind of the band tonight, right? So, <laughs> so it's hard to want to practice without the band there, you know what I mean? Uh, so, so I'm really glad that you're, you're, you're doing your part. Uh, <laughs> So I wrote this whole song around this idea of like a place that you go to as you're growing up and it's like the touchstone for the, 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 the thing. Uh, and every time you go through something important in your life, you kind of go back to that place. There was never any place for someone like me to be so happy. When it's late, don't stop any, I will make it home. Is there anybody out there? Still lights and capitals go rushing by as we try to find a station on the radio. Everything's gonna be better on the West Coast. <laughs> and, uh, and I never met Ivory and I never met Jimmy, but I heard that they were awesome songwriters and lovely people. and. Uh, <laughs> And so I said, okay, cool, let's go write a song. And, uh, and this is the one that we came up with.
Justin, I, you, have a, you have a standing invitation to that. I do a benefit show on 1111 every single year. Woo! Play it in its entirety for you, I promise. We're gonna give you here just here, take your phone out. Take your phone out. Let's get it. Quickly. Just get it out. I'm gonna give you like don't don't hit record yet. We're gonna pretend that I'm playing tonight. Okay? We don't have much room. Can you guys believe I did a 25 minute version of Constantine? <laughs> this is everybody. Because we won't leave it alone. So Show. What was the girl's name? Ivory Lane. We're gonna download all of her music. Yeah, she's yeah, awesome. Yeah, she was awesome. That was such a fun show, just like how Andrew kept talking about, like just him and his piano and his friends. Yeah, that was really cool. He's playing in <laughs> Chicago June 6th, so we were just trying to think of like, is there a, like an ex extenuating circumstance that would bring us to Chicago? Because typically we're there for Memorial Day for the kickball game, so that would be like too It'd be too close, close. So we'd have for to us to go and other. come back. We'll pick one or yeah. the other. Plus, like, 2020 could be a really busy year again yeah. for us. I am so sorry to everybody around me because I had to sing <laughs> every song with this voice. So I really hope the footage is okay. I tried not to sing if I was recording. And it's a phone vlog day. That's why it's yeah. bouncing when I'm watching. <laughs> All bets are off. So. So now time for our like six minute Guys, drive he home. Constantine. He played that made my life. He played, he played like ten seconds of Constantine. That was but he great. confirmed <laughs> that he only plays it in its entirety at the, the November eleventh Deer Jack <laughs> fundraiser every year. Benefit, yeah. So we have to find out where it is next year. Yeah. He hasn't announced it yet because it, it would say on his I'm gonna put the website below. 
again, if you're interested in becoming like a bone marrow bone transplant, marrow transplant donor, um, we registered so. last yeah. year after seeing him for the first time in Beecham. Yeah. But that's what the benefit is for. So yeah. we could listen to the whole thing if we go to that. Yes. She's reminiscing. We decided we were shifting my running. I was supposed to do four miles today, four miles tomorrow. Oh gosh. Break on Thursday, two miles shake out on Friday. Shake? It's called a shake out. Oh. It's called a shake out run. That's why it's only two miles. Hmm. They're going to do one or two miles because um, then Saturday is the 50K. Oh my gosh. Um, waiting to hear back from the director because I emailed them. They want me to do package pickup like between Middle 3 and 5 day. p.m. on Friday. I have work. Yeah. It's two and a half hours away. So Sarah might actually end up having to drive by herself come with? do a five hour round trip just to get my bib um so <laughs> tbd on that yeah oh but God. because it's late and my phone was almost dead and my headphones were dead and my uh, apple watch was almost dead we mm, shifted sad. everything by a day so i'm gonna do four tomorrow four thursday and two on friday do you hear his voice my voice has begun oh and gosh. i also need to like take care of that because i can't be sick for the run right 31 miles 50 kilometers um, but I think we might like attempt to watch that one day in Disney. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I've known something for a couple days now, but we couldn't say it until a special announcement was made at my office today. You okay? You okay? She had a pretzel. Um, but it was announced today at my office, so now I can say it to the public because everybody at work knows is that I was promoted at work. I am now a manager. It's weird. As your first time, like you've been in leadership before, but you've always more so been like a supervisor. Been like, like a supervisor. Like in charge of people, but like. I'm responsible for people. I am a systems integration and reporting manager. So I'm real excited. Um, I just want to get that massive project that I've been working on for a few weeks now done with because that's consuming like 85% of my time and I want to be able to devote during this transition, all of my time to my team. Yeah. I want to be the, the leader they deserve. Yeah. So we're celebrating. Yeah. We got a sleepy pup and a sleepy pee So I've been spending the past like two hours trying to untangle a bunch of my necklaces that I packed for Chicago in one bag. Silly me. So I'm going to do the message and sign off. Get these little sleepy heads to bed. Happiness is the consequence of personal effort. You fight for it, strive for it, insist upon it, and sometimes even travel around the world looking for it. You have to participate relentlessly in the manifestations of your own blessings. Elizabeth Gilbert. So true. Optimism is a choice. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>